There was a big missed opportunity calling Bad Boys 3 Bad Boys Forever because that would have been a, a great title for the fourth film. But the third Bad Boys, I'm not going to lie to you, my favorite of the Bad Boys franchise. Mm. And again, I, I like the first two Bad Boys, but I've never understood the, the big, huge cult following that it has. Like there, Some people have a real passion for those first two. I like them. I'm, I'm, I'm pro Bad Boys 1 and 2. But I didn't love them on the level, let's say, a number of other people did. Three came out, and I really had a great time with three. I had a blast with three, and it was honestly my favorite of the bunch. So clearly, looking forward to number four. Well, the official trailer and title for number four just came out, and the official title is Bad Boys Ride or Die. Seems original. You know what? No, I, you know what? It It fits. I think that is a title that fits with kind of the naming conventions they've had so far, and when you understand the whole nature of the bad boys and stuff like that, I kind of liked it. And as far as the trailer goes, I thought it was pretty fun. I thought it was, I, when he goes in to get the hot dog, when he put these hot dogs on? Yesterday. Fine. <laughs> like, I, 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 I get dug it. It had that same, listen, these two guys, I can't even remember, what, Ray, another date to look up. When did the first Bad Boys come out? I just had that up, right? Yeah, when was the first Bad Boys come out? Because Martin Lawrence and Will Smith have been making these movies it's easily been over 20 years. I, I did. I mean, did it come out in the 90s? 95? 95? Yeah. We're talking 30 years. Next year, it'll be 30 years that these guys have been riding together in these movies. And you know what? Watching that trailer, to me, it's like they have not lost a step. They still have that great chemistry together. They still play off each other great. I love the energy the two of them have together. Was it... A magnificent trailer? No. But for a Bad Boys trailer, I, I thought it looked pretty fun and and signed me up. Now, of course, th that brings us to the elephant in the room. And, Ray, maybe you can pull up the box office for the uh, most recent Bad Boys, Bad Boys uh, for Life. The elephant in the room is going to be, are audiences ready to go back to the theaters to see Will Smith again? That's That's going to be... The question, I think, for a lot of people going in. What yeah. was the box office? You want the, the opening or the... No, the worldwide total. 426. 426. Hey, that's more than Black Adam. That's more than Black Adam. Opening was an impressive 62 million. Yeah, I remember it had a really good, strong, solid opening weekend. Again, it's my favorite of the bunch, so not bad. Now, will are people wanting to go back and see Will Smith again? I can only speak for myself that I am. You know, I've, I've talked about this before. I was as put off and disgusted by what Will Smith did... It was like the act of a coward. It was completely bullshit. Because, again, if John Cena had been the guy up on stage making jokes instead of, you know, five foot seven, buck 20 soaking wet Chris Rock, I don't think Will Smith goes up on stage and slaps him. <laughs> that being said, that being said, um, it was what it was. He didn't murder anybody. He didn't slap him, then throw him to the ground, get full mount, and start dropping elbows on him. It was what it was. He has paid, Will Smith has paid, I've said this many times, he has paid a huge price with being globally humiliated for years. He's lost out on tens of millions of dollars in projects and endorsements and all that kind of stuff. He's paid a huge price. And at some point, I think, you know, I'll only speak for myself. At some point, I myself just feel that I got to be ready to say he's paid the price. Let's move on now. And with bad boys, I don't know how other people are going to feel. I'm ready to move on and see what he can do with bad boys for. Not everybody's going to feel that way. Anyway, Chris, um, a couple things here. The title of the film, do you like it? Do you not like it? Um, the trailer itself, are you ready to go see Bad Boys 4? I don't know. What did you think about it? Well, I have to watch Bad Boys 1 through 3 first, as you recall. <laughs> that, but uh, I, I thought will... that would be coming. <laughs> I will say, though, this is a good trailer. And it, it promised me the kind of movie that Andy and Hot Fuzz promises me. And that's all I want from these. It seems fun. It seems bombastic. And I'm genuinely excited to binge all of these and, and watch it in theaters. I think it's going to be a good time. The story makes sense, right? The, the police captain that they've been working with seems like he's been you know framed. There's a lot of intrigue and, and stuff happening there. They've got to go right those wrongs. Title's fine. They definitely missed a trick by jumping the gun on what? They were going to call this because of that bad boys for life would have been fabulous. Just here. perfect. It would yep. have been so good. But this looks fun. It looks fun and and I'll probably see it. And I'm with you. I 
I'm ready to see Will Smith in something. That sucked. What happened sucked. It sucked. Yeah, there's no way around it. it, it and was, it was not BS. the correct thing to do. Should Chris Rock have also doubled down on some things that he knew about and made jokes about them still? No, but you never hit somebody. We established this in preschool, yeah. right? And I do agree that he's paid those dues. Again, as I've brought up many times, so many other people in Hollywood have done so many more egregious things and have immediately gotten cast in notable things again. Yeah. So I feel like this is this is the right time for him to come back. It's the right franchise. And Bad Boys has also, it's about at 840 uh, million collectively as a franchise. Mm. And so- So this one should put it over the billion They should put it mark. over a billion. So it can join Ghostbusters in the franchise bringing up that much money. And I think that's a very feasible thing for these guys to do. And it looks fun. You made you a good point when you said this is the franchise to do it because this isn't a franchise where you recast Will Smith in it. Yeah. yeah. So <clears throat> of course he's going to be in Bad Boys 4. So you're either going to go as a Bad Boys and Will Smith fan or you're not. Or you're not. This isn't like- some other tent pole where it's like, why did you have to go with Will Smith? You know? Right. It's it's kind of the the issue that he had and he kept apologizing for with mm -hmm. emancipation of you are not ready to see me in a film. You are not ready to root for me. You are not ready for me to be the hero in a film. You you don't want me to succeed right now because of my actions. And that sucks that I've put everyone who made this beautiful film in that position because yeah. of my inability to control myself. Right. I think he's done a good apology tour. Whether or not you think it was all PR or not, regardless, it was done well. It was executed well. He was already a bad boy. Let him come back. <laughs> he's already a bad boy. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Miracle Made. Did you know that your temperature at night can have one of the greatest impacts on your sleep quality? If you wake up too hot or too cold, I highly recommend you check out Miracle Made's bed sheets. Inspired by NASA, Miracle Made uses silver infused fabrics and makes temperature regulating bedding so that you can sleep at the perfect temperature all night long. When they arrived at our house, my wife Anne loved to feel them so much, she couldn't even wait for me to get home to put them on our bed. Miracle Made has self cleaning. These sheets are infused with silver that prevents up to 99.7 of bacterial growth leaving them to stay cleaner and fresh three times longer than other sheets. Miracle sheets also have incredible comfort and quality. Miracle sheets are luxuriously comfortable without the high price tag of other luxury brands and feel as nice, if not nicer, than sheets used by some five-star hotels. So go to TryMiracle, that's T-R-Y-M-I-R-A-C-L-E dot com slash Campia to try Miracle Made sheets today. And whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order today, you can save over 40% and if you use our promo code CAMPIA at checkout, you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20%. Miracle is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you aren't 100% satisfied, you will get a full refund. So upgrade your sleep with Miracle Made. Go to trymiracle.com slash CAMPIA and use the code CAMPIA to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40% off. Again, that's trymiracle.com slash CAMPIA to treat yourself. Question is for you guys. What do you think? Did you like the trailer? Do you like the title? Are you personally ready to go back and see Will Smith on the screen again? I am, but that doesn't mean you have to be. Whatever you guys think, jump down into the comments section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.